Hi there, I'm Vicky Parfano from Aussie Stampers and Vicky Parfano Stamps. And I wanted to show you the craft haul that I have. Paul and I went on a road trip throughout country New South Wales and I had to stop at every scrapbook store in every town. So this amount of goodies has come from lots of different places, mainly country scrapbook stores. And I wanted to show you uh, what's coming up for some of the projects I'm doing and what I needed to add to my supplies. So the first thing is the GoPress foil and I am going to be using these with a home laminator. I do not have a mink or anything like that but I find a home laminator is great for these. So I have gold and a bronze colour and a pretty iridescent blue. It's sort of almost got a striped effect whereas these are more a plain effect and an iridescent kind of silver. So these are the heat activated foils for foiling. The other thing that I managed to pick up was a Heidi Swap mink pen. So this is a toner ink marker and you can use it for your calligraphy. So you can write in this toner marker and then foil it using a home laminator and away you go. So that's nice and easy and it's very inexpensive. So if you love calligraphy and you want to do some foiling, this is a really easy way to get into it. So that's the toner marker. I have a pack, a block of Express It mini blending card. This is a great size. It is A6 and there's 125 sheets in here. It's the 250 GSM paper and this is what I use for my Copic blending. I absolutely adore this paper. It's what I was trained to use when I did my training and I just love the fact that it's already pre-cut. Oh, that's going to save me a lot of time when I'm doing cards and when I'm designing for my Etsy store. Now stencils, I am stencil mad at the moment. As you know, I love doing art journals. And so stenciling is something that I really love to put into my journals. I've discovered this brand called Cadence Art and Hobby Paints, it's called. And it's the mixed media stencil collection. And I really love how this is a script, but it's quite, well, I can't really read it. I don't think you meant to read it. It's, it's just an idea of script. And that works really well. That would be great with some modeling paste, I think, or some paint. And I adore this one. This is awesome. Whichever way you turn it, you're going to get some really fun looks with this. It looks as though the page is going to be stretched. I like that one as well. Re Rebecca Meyer art stencil, which I plan on using on one of my art journals very soon. And I have some Jane Davenport stencils. And I like these because there are some eyes. So if you are somebody, I'll just open this one and show you what's in there. If you are somebody who likes drawing faces, one of the things that we artists bemoan constantly is it's very hard to get both eyes exactly the same. So the great thing about this stencil is you can use it. You can use this for the left eye, flip it around and you have the right eye and they're exactly the same size. And what I would suggest is that you start with the eyes first before you draw in the shape of the face. And I think that works really well. So I love the idea of being able to flip it and you've got a stencil for both eyes and you don't have to worry about, you know, them being a wonky size or not quite round. So that's the Jane Davenport stencils. Um, I do like the profile and the profile is going to be useful in my art journal where I'm going to cut out some of the middle pages with a profile shape and use them that way. This is just your general face shape, which is quite nice. I generally, when I draw my eyes, I like them to be a little bit more realistic and I generally put the eyes a little bit closer together and the nose and the mouth a little higher up because I really like realistic proportions. My father was a portrait artist and he painted portraits from life. And I like to have realistic dimensions in a face, but for an art journal, it can be fun to just change it up a little bit and make the faces a bit more whimsical. Again, this is another one. The proportions are not the same as you would have in real life. Uh, with this one, I might not use those eyes. I might actually put in my own version of eyes on this one because I find those eyes a bit too large. But we all have different ways that we like to draw. That's going to be helpful for me. Now, I have some quote stamps. And I think quote stamps are really good. I'll find them all, put them all in the one spot here. So start each day with a grateful heart. That's fantastic for a gratitude journal. 
make your life as beautiful as the dreams that dance in your imagination this one's cute these are both dark room door i do like the grungy look of these quotes i think they work really well for an art journal i never travel without my journal one should always have something sensational to read oscar wilde perfect for a journal and this one being creative is not a hobby it's a way of life so they're my quotes then I have some journal stamps. So this is a little scribbly one. This is art stamp from Carabelle Studio. And this is Celine. She's teeny tiny, look, teeny tiny. So I've actually uh, purchased her to use in my bullet journal because I have a bullet journal where I write all of my ideas for YouTube and what I'm going to be doing next in my projects. And I just feel like I need to put her in here on the various pages just as a little sign off i think she's a bit of fun i can color her in when I, i'm trying to think up ideas i just think she's a journal stamp so i like the size of her she's adorable <laughs> okay and these two are just wacky so uh, these are from uh, stampotique.com and they're just grungy and cool and fun and i like them because they're different and they're really very much me Another Carabelle art stamp, and I do like this brand, really nice eye, and I'm going to actually do a mirror image of this eye. I have a new tool coming which allows me to stamp mirror images, and I'll be showing you a video on how to produce two eyes out of this. This butterfly, I think, is gorgeous with the eyes inside it, and the quote is, we still believe in sweet words of love when they are said with eyes. And that's a really nice stamp and they are rubber stamps really nice another one from Carabelle studio i do like this embossing folder for an art journal page i think this would give me a really nice piece of background that i could rip into pieces and paste onto my page so that's i'll take it out so you can see it a bit better and then this beautiful lily which is kaiser craft you can see the size of it here just gorgeous i plan on doing some inking techniques with this and using it as a stencil as well as doing some die cut pieces i can see die cutting it in different colors so we've got the green stem the yellow stamens and the white lily and i can see piecing that together on a card would be pretty special it's a really good size too to fill a card with just a little bit of greeting underneath the other thing I got from Kaiser Craft are these clear stickers. There's a whole lot in the range. I really only wanted happy birthday and thank you. They seem to be the main cards that I'm using at the moment. These I probably won't use because I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of cut out this way. I actually like the blocks. I think the blocks look really great. You can put them over a piece of different colored cardstock, then cut around that cardstock. And it looks as though you have a really embossed image on it. The same with the thanks. These are nice block quotes. So these are the ones I particularly like that are in the block. I don't really want to use these because I think they're going to look like you've stuck a sticker on. Whereas these, if you mount them on cardstock, which is almost the same size or, or slightly larger, it gives a really nice framed effect. And I'll be doing some cards showing you how to do that as well. So that is my craft haul. And this is my bullet journal <laughs> that I'm working on at the moment. So um, I just really slammed those letters on. They're not straight. It doesn't matter. This is my work in progress book. I love it because it's mine. And I'm really looking forward to putting my little journal girl inside and doing some just doodling and colouring and fun stuff. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that haul today. Uh, one of the things that's coming up, which you might like to look at, I have been working on photo paper and this is a cool technique. So I'll put a link to the video that shows you this technique. It's new. It's completely new. I've never seen anybody use this technique before. So have a look at that. Okay, that's all for today. So bye for now.